Welcome to Trump Breaking News Network. Your daily source for up-to-date news on the political scene of Donald Trump, his presidency, American politics and conspiracies. Please subscribe to receive notice of our daily updates, also share with your friends and your social media. We encourage you to like our videos and give your comments. This is TBNN. Source close to Biden, if he's healthy 2020 presidential election here we come. By Jack Davis. Former Vice President Joe Biden is moving closer to a 2020 presidential campaign, according to a number of reports that all point to the same conclusion. It was suggested Friday on Morning Joe that a source close to the former vice president stated that if Biden, 74, may consider running for a different spot in the White House in 2020, according to MSNBC's Donnie Deutsche. I spoke to someone close to Biden, who, said if he's healthy, he's going for it in 2020, Deutsche said. That followed a Thursday interview with Oprah Winfrey, where the subject of a presidential bid also came up. I regret that I am not president because I think there is so much opportunity, Biden stated. I think America is so incredibly well positioned. Biden had considered running for the White House in 2016, but was dissuaded from running after the death of his son, Bo. He admitted that a candidate needs to have two things in line for a campaign, but at the time he only had one. Biden then laid the foundation for what he suggests a president needs in order to be effective. 1. Do they truly believe they are the most qualified person for that moment? Biden asked. I believed I was. But, was I prepared to be able to give my whole heart, my whole soul and all my attention to the endeavor? And I knew I wasn't, he added, speaking about the second aspect he suggests a president should have. However, a report in Politico suggests that at multiple levels wheels are in motion that could converge in a 2020 campaign for Biden, who wants to prevent President Donald Trump from getting a second term and sees around him a dearth of others he thinks could do the job. He's a great respecter of fate, said is suggested to be close to Biden. At some point, it may turn into fate and planning. And, after a grueling first half of the year dealing with the death of his son, Biden has once again begun to emerge into the spotlight. The former vice president will be on the national stage in the coming weeks during a tour for his book, Promise Me, Dad, which is about his relationship with Bo. Right now, he's pretty laser-focused on the book tour, said an individual who claimed to be in touch with Biden's advisors. Get through that and go see what we can do in 18, and see where things are then. Biden will also spend a portion of 2018 helping to raise money for Democratic Senate candidates. He's also in touch with many on Capitol Hill. Rep. Ted Deutsch, DFLA, noted he received a call from Biden out of the blue. It was Vice President Biden just calling to tell me he was watching and he saw me on CNN, I was strong, and I should keep it up, Deutsch said. This is clearly a guy who's paying close attention to what's going on and wants to be a part of it. Above all, Biden has been outspoken against Trump, rarely calling him by name but continually voicing his opposition to the current president. How many of you I mean this sincerely how many of you, when the president was elected, were either happy or bemused or a little embarrassed or not quite sure, but now are really fundamentally worried about our democracy or the prospect of an international conflict or nuclear war. Biden said in a recent Chicago speech. How many of you now, whether you voted for him or not, are beginning to wonder whether or not the very roots of the invisible moral fabric that holds everything up is eroding in a way that's going to be dangerous for democratic institutions? This has been the Trump Breaking News Network. Please subscribe and share to stay up to date on the latest news about our president. Be informed.